Hi, this is Doreen Morin with More Media in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We are talking about Facebook groups all week on More Media, our fan page. And um, just to finish up the week, I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook group, just in case you don't really know where to go and how to start one. So um, you're on your personal profile. This is me, Doreen. Um, you click on the Facebook icon, and you will be in your news feed. On the left side of your news feed, you have your favorites, your pages, and your groups. Um, if you have not joined a group, um, you should be able to find it because right here down here it says create a group. You should have that option. Um, you can always go to Facebook groups, uh, facebook.com um, help center and find out how to create a group if you have not created or have ever been in one. But once you are in one, this button shows up. It's create a group. You click on that and you're going to name it something. How about um, testing group functions and I'm going to add my husband to it um, really the etiquette is that you shouldn't be adding anybody to the group that doesn't want to be added add a personal friend add a, a one person that you know in order to start a group you have to put somebody in the group so I usually add my husband when I start a group um, and then you have to decide whether you want it to be open closed or secret Open, anybody can see the group who's in it and what the members post. Close is anybody can see the group and who's in it, but they cannot read the posts on the wall. If it's secret, only members see the group. Secret I have used for a family group. Uh, my parents, my siblings, and my nieces and nephews, we have a secret group. Nobody can find it. It's not on, it's not searchable. You can't find it. Only by invite. Closed groups, most of my groups are closed. You have to be invited to join or you have to ask to join. And an, and an admin has to approve that. Um, I am currently, I think, only in one or two open groups. So you choose which one you want. So for the sake of this test, let's make it a closed group. You create. And it will ask you to um, choose an icon. And let's just um, choose the wave. We're in Myrtle Beach. Hit OK. OK, so now up top you will see the people who are in the group. Right now currently there's two, but there'll be up to eight pictures up there um, as you have more members. It then will suggest people to put in your group if you want to do that. Um, and then you can um, post, uh, you can share files, you can post pictures, you can make events in your group, and you can have the About tab. Um, you can add a description to your group. You can talk about what this group is for. Um, make sure you save it. You um, can, in here, you can chat within your group. Uh, you can create an event. Um, you can edit the group. Um, if you have previously have it open and you want to close the group, that's where you would do that. Um, so this is where your functions are. So this is Doreen Morin with Morin Media showing you how incredibly simple it is to start a group. Um, there is are thousands of possibilities, school groups, um, kids, school functions, events, fundraisers, PTA meetings, um, and then going on to business related groups, industry groups, accountants, um, hairdressers, um, f local friends, um, anybody can make a group and start a group and have something in common with somebody and within the group talk on the wall. It's really amazing. So this is Doreen Morin with More Media showing you how easy it is to create your own group.